Alright, this is Cody again. I am here at a small community garden. Uh, forgot the name of the garden, but I'm sure I'll figure it out eventually. Anyway, the guy who runs it uh, has a hive that he said got uh, vandalized and he told me that the bees all died. He wanted me to come uh, see if I could put bees on and take care of the hive so that this uh, little garden would have a beehive. Uh, with somebody who actually knew how to take care of bees. And so, uh, yeah, he told me the hive's back here. I've actually already looked at it a little bit and I went back to get my sugar water bottle because there's actually bees here. I was, expect I was expecting it to, I was expecting them all to be dead, but, you know, looks to me like it just uh, got roughed up and the bees are still here. And I can tell that these are not just bees that are robbing the hive because actually when I first came by they, they, uh, a couple of the bees came out and stung me. So, so anyway, it looks to me like uh, there is bees, they're pretty good bees, there's these dark colored and they're, they're pretty angry, I can tell. Somebody's been uh, throwing rocks at them it looks like. I look in here, they've got honey, it's a good hive, I definitely can take care of this. You know, somebody had been taking care of them. There's quite a few dead bees here. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and do like a quick inspection out of them see how strong they are and then I'm gonna go ahead and put the lid back on and actually yeah <laughs> see see how they're doing see what I need to do for them Let's see if I can put the camera somewhere uh, I'll, I'll just I'll just I'll just look through them and I'll I'll pick up the camera if I find anything interesting. Alright, so, so far it looks like there's uh, quite a bit of honey in here. The bees have calmed down quite a bit since I started spraying sugar water on them. I think they figured out that I'm not uh, trying to destroy the hive. See, I saw a bee in here that had pollen. Pollen on it, I think I lost her. But yeah, they're, they're oh there she is. I don't think you can see her, but she, her pollen baskets are full. So they're actually going out and foraging. So I'm not actually finding anything wrong with this hive, other than the fact that it's all in pieces and looks like it got rained on. It's kind of kind of wet in there. But you know, bees out in nature have been able to deal with being rained on. You see there's a lot of propolis and some comb up top. Looks like they're trying to seal out the weather. But you know, they, they definitely overwintered. And there's bees coming back with pollen. They've got a lot of pollen in here actually. And look, some uh, baby bees. Some, uh, let me push them aside for you. There's some larvae in here. See, I thought I was gonna have to put together a hive and then bring in some bees. Yeah, this is, these bees are actually doing pretty good. They're, they're queen right, actually. So I think I'm just not going to be doing very much. I'm going to, you know, make sure that they're I think I'm going to be taking care of this hive. Yeah, there's eggs in here. And a lot of pollen. I can't say I've ever seen this much pollen in a hive. <laughs> you can see all this uh, yellow here. That's all pollen. These are a darker colored bee. Of course, I'm not sure what kind they are, but I'm, I would guess that they're either purebred Italians or a midnight breed. Anyway. All 
All right, I'll continue uh, looking through them. And uh, I'm gonna seal them up. Make sure that the wasps aren't getting in here. You see, there's a wasp. Kill it. <laughs> All right. You know, they got a screened bottom board. It's pretty cool. Looks like somebody built this. Kill some of these wasps. Look like new boxes. Very nice. Yeah, they definitely got vandalized, but it didn't seem to have killed the bees. That's good. I'm glad. <laughs> All right. I'll, I'll continue working. Try not to feel, uh, film too much. All right, so I've gotten down and I've looked through most of the... Uh, yeah, I've, I've looked through all this hive now. And uh, I'd estimate they've got about uh, between 30 and 40 pounds of honey left. You see, this frame, if you can see it, is mostly capped honey. So these, these bees were, were pretty good when they went into winter. Uh, I'd clarify earlier that when I said these have got the most uh, pollen in it that I've ever seen, they've got more pollen than it that I've seen coming out of winter. So they must have had quite a bit of pollen going into the fall. But yeah, they've, they've got plenty of honey. It looks like a very good hive, and considering that they survived having a lid off for who knows how long, I'd say. Probably a very good hive. They just need a little bit of uh, lo tender love and care. I'm hoping this is the hive that he was talking about. Yeah. Pretty sure it is. I'm just gonna set these guys up. They, they don't have very much brood and they are a bit low on bees. I think I'm going to put that box as the bottom because that's where the queen is right now and this is where most of the honey is. kind of wish I would have brought my uh, hive tool. There's so much uh, propolis. Look at all this. It's gumming up everything. My guess is they've, they've been doing that because they've been open to the environment and they're trying to seal it. All right. No, I just noticed this. Looks like somebody was taking care of them. Licensed. I could look that up. Maybe I'll call them. Alright. So yeah, I'll just I'll just set these guys up. Your girls. You keep saying guys. <laughs> I'll just put the lid back on, make them straight, and then, then I'll talk to the guy about what's going on with them. I'd like to be able to take care of this hive. They look like they've got good genetics. I like this dark colored bee. Maybe he'll let me get some, uh, some of the eggs from them. All right, so I'll just straighten them up for now. Talk to the guy and maybe I'll end up taking care of him. Maybe not. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. I'll, I'll come back when I've got that all done. Alright, so I got the hive all put back together. And uh, basically what I've done is I took most of the honey frames and I put them up top. And uh, most of the empty frames I left down here, along with the brood. There was two frames of brood, so I put empty frames on either side of that. That should give the queen plenty of room to lay. I didn't see the queen, but I know she's in there. So yeah, got a big rock there. There's bees coming back with pollen, you can see there. They'll probably buzz around the top of the hive for a while, because they were using that as the entrance. 
but they'll, they'll, they're, they're pretty smart and they'll, they'll figure it out after a few hours. You can see they're already going in down here. Yeah, I don't see any reason why these bees shouldn't make a full recovery and uh, take off and make quite a bit of honey this year. I uh, talked to Mike, uh, the guy who uh, runs this garden, and it turns out the, the lady who put this hive here, she moved away and she can't take care of it. So I guess, I guess the responsibility comes on to me. I'm more than happy about that. So uh, I'm going to leave these guys alone for about a week. I'll, I'll come back and check on them probably Saturday or Sunday whenever I come back just to make sure they're not tipped over again. Other than that, I think I'll just put this on my uh, uh, rotation and uh, just put this on one of my hives that I check on every week. And what's even better is that I might be able to use the, these as a breeding stock. If, uh, if that hive in Grantsville is uh, queenless, that'll sure be a help. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna call that the end, and I'm gonna head out. That sure looks good. I think I might at one point move the hive back back there a little farther, so they're not so visible. I might even change the color of the boxes to camouflage them, and uh, might even. Uh, screw some pieces of metal to the side of the hive to make it harder to move. Yeah, I know how kids uh, like to mess with things. <laughs> Alright, so the end of this uh, video. I'll see you at the next hive. I'm actually heading there now. <laughs>